Thousands of Victorian students have been mistakenly given access to questions before sitting their exams. The error follows two years of previous VCE exam bungles by the authority overseeing the process. It's a tense time for VCE students midway through their exams. But a new error by the state's exam board is adding to the anxiety. There's obviously no way to tell who really studied and who didn't and who cheated. Example exam papers containing hidden information were published online, giving students a preview of what was to come in the real thing. The case study was leaked and it, it was exactly the same word for word except for the name, which means they were able to infer what questions were going to be on the exam based off of that. The Victorian Curriculum and Assessment Authority published redacted sample papers on its website. But if the text was copied and pasted into another document, blanked out material could be made visible, revealing questions nearly identical to those in the actual exams. Hasn't happened for all subjects, but it's happened to probably at least 20 or 30 subjects. And as a result, students, um, the word quickly spread that there were um, leaked questions from the exams. There has been human error here. It's still not acceptable. Human error. The minister ordered leaked questions be rewritten for remaining exams. But the curriculum authority maintains the exams weren't compromised. This year's exams are similar to previous year's exams in format and content. This is because they are based on the VCE study designs, which remain the same for many years. Students have been told there'll be no penalties for accessing the information. It's a bit disheartening to know that they're not really going to do anything about it. The latest bungle follows mistakes written into Victorian exam papers over the past two years. What we need now and what we need urgently done is for a complete independent review of the VCAA itself and the systemic review of the exam process. There are just four more days until exams finish. Then it's the process that will be put to the test. Nicole Asher, ABC News, 